Saucer, this is a pre-algebra video lesson. Where is the height? What we mean by that is when we are working with triangles, we may want to calculate the area. We may have a base of 10, but we need another measure in order to calculate the area. The formula for area of a triangle is one half times the base times the height. And the base is going to be the measure of one of its sides. It doesn't have to be the side that's on the bottom. In this case, this triangle is drawn. We know the measure of this side is 10. We're going to use this side as the base. But where's the height? The height in this case, in this triangle, starts at this vertex. And we can bring a line down and make it a dotted line because it's not a side of the triangle. This is a height that meets the base at a right angle. This height we could label H. So for this triangle, we have a base equal to 10, and we have a height that is perpendicular, meeting at a right angle, drawn inside the triangle. If we knew the measure of the height, then we can put these two measures into the formula and calculate the area. Let's make a note that a base and a height must be perpendicular. And perpendicular means, we'll point to this word, that they meet at a right angle. And where they meet can also be said where they intersect. This point right here is the point where the height and the base meet. And they create a right angle, so they're perpendicular. Now that's helpful to know because some triangles, like one drawn like this, may not be obvious where the base and height are. If this was, again, a base, we could label it B, what kind of height does this triangle have with this base? Well, in this case, we drew the height inside the triangle. But if I attempted to do that, there could be a few different places that I would try to put the height inside of the triangle. Maybe it would make sense to draw height right here. But the measure of this, even though it meets at a right angle, doesn't quite get the entire height of the triangle. I want to draw a height that starts at the vertex or the point of the triangle that's not being used as the base. So this is a starting point. But I can't draw the height inside the triangle to meet the base over here because they wouldn't be perpendicular. Lines like this would not meet at a right angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think of this line that's the base is extending out here. This part is not a part of the triangle, but if I extend this line as the base outwards, then the height that I draw meets this line here at a right angle. This is the appropriate place to measure the height of this triangle if I choose this side to be the base. The height that I've drawn is a dotted line. It meets the same, it, it's extending the base. We're not including this part of the line as the base, but we're only thinking of that line extended so that we can see how these two can be at a right angle to each other, or perpendicular. And of course, this height is outside the triangle. But if I knew its measure, 
then it would be the base and the height that I could put in using the formula. Let's give another example of a triangle. In this case, I'm not going to choose the side that's on the bottom to be the base. I could choose any side to be the base. If I only knew the measure of this side here, then I would want to choose that to be the base. So if I'm using the measure of this line to be the base, where's the height? It has to be perpendicular, and I want to start at the point on the triangle or the vertex that is not being used at the base. So I want to start at this point, and I'm going to draw a dotted line to represent the height, and I'm going to go towards the base in the direction that will meet at a right angle. So the height and this base are perpendicular. In these triangles, the base has been chosen to be at the bottom, and the height is straight up and down. It doesn't have to be that way. In this example, we chose this side to be the base. It's not the bottom. It's just another side, and the height is perpendicular to it. When we're working with right triangles, that's triangles that have a right angle in them, then the height and base is an easy choice. Because for a right triangle, we have two sides that are already perpendicular, and we could call one the base and one the height. If we knew the measure of those two, we could calculate the area with the formula. Let's make a note. A base does not have to be on the bottom. It could be any side, even though the word base kind of implies something that's lower. We've chosen in this triangle this side to be the base, and the height perpendicular, and on this triangle as well, the base is not at the bottom. There is no side that's on, on the bottom of the triangle, so we've chosen this to be the base, and that to be the height that's perpendicular.